Thanks for staying with us. So we'll be speaking on some of the lessons of Salah and how we can imbibe these lessons as a lesson for national development and much needed unity considering our diversity. Now, Nima is not around today. We would love to have her. I would even like to get her on the call so that we can even wish her happy Salah. But you can call us in um, on 0812705 and 091-390-76948. We'd like you to... Um, Wish us happy Salah and let us hear what, are, what lessons um, of, of this season are you going to be imbibing with your family. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, what President Buhari gave his um, speech. I think Ashwaju Bolati Unubu said the same thing. And a few others also greeted quite a lot of Muslims. Um, um, and it's a season of sacrifice, season where we remind ourselves that, listen, if God can always show up for Abraham, you can always show up for us in different ways. So what lessons have you learned? And um, how, as, even though you're not Muslims, but this season is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a united opportunity for us to share lessons that are universal. Yeah. So I think I'd like to hear your thoughts before I take some calls. So um, for me, Salah always brings memories of we are one. Salah always brings memory of unity, of sharing, of caring, of sacrifice, of giving. And we must remind ourselves because we're very divided as a nation right now. And this is a time when you're not sharing your meat to only Muslims. You're sharing your meat to non-Muslims around right. you. You're extending that hand of fellowship. Like, come and, come and dine with me. That's the culture. It's everybody come to my house. We're together. It's the, it, we're not separated by tradition. We're not separated by culture. Yeah. We are one. And we're grateful for this season. And I think that... Um, the, the idea that many people still see some crisis in this country as religious is not, should, should be quelled in this season because it really isn't. Um, the, the, the deaths and killings take place across religious boundaries. There are Muslims being killed as Christians are being killed and we shouldn't, we shouldn't promote division but we should focus on this is Salah we are all celebrating that we are alive and we are going to unitedly fight the scourge mm. of those dividing this nation. Right. And right. we can only win when we see ourselves as each other's brothers keepers. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. for me also, I think um, I like the part where the um, president uh, talked about the economic situation that we're mm. facing right now. And we can see it even in the prices of the RAM that we, normally, that mm. we use to celebrate the day. And just the prices of everything in mm. general. Everything is just so expensive. Some people are saying that they're even going to do without. This is something they've done for many yes. years. But this particular year, they may have to do without. And, you know, he mentioned where we need to be careful not to use this festive season as a period to exploit each other. Mm. Appeal to our brothers and sisters you know, all over the country. We need to... Um, remember each other. This money that we're looking for, this thing, this economic hardship is affecting us all. The person selling in the market and the person coming to the market with their little coins. So if you're still making your profits, you know, healthy, normal profit, that's fine. At least you'll be able to, for me, it's common sense, you even sell much more than someone who is selling at ridiculous prices. You know, my friend always makes me laugh. She says, he waits until seller day and it's that day to buy her rap because at that time, which, you know, who mm. else are you looking to? But um, we are going through really tough economic times and uh, things need to change. We need to make better policies. We need to um, empower um, um, Nigerians. We talk about how the government is helping to empower farmers and how middlemen are coming in. And, you know, we have to be careful that we're doing this together. Mm. We're in this together. We want all Nigerians to progress and we all want to be successful. All right, let me so take this call from Richard. Richard, are you there? <clears throat> Yeah, I'm here. You're live. Go ahead, please. Morning. Uh, I want to wish everyone of you a happy Sunday celebration. Yes, thank you very much. And you too. Uh, I, I want to let you know that, yes, this is a time for us to show love. A time for us to look at Nigeria properly. The whole Nigeria are not at uh, peace. The food rising, the whole thing is affecting everybody. Let the federal government do something before it goes out of hand. We are celebrating now, and we are celebrating in pain. For three years, we are putting a smile on our face, and we are doing our best. Let the federal government do something about the pandemic. Thank you very much, Richard. YK. 
your message is well, I, I was just going to say, um, I think, you, you know, I believe that as Africans, I will not even say Nigerians now, we should just learn to live in peace, learn to live as one. Our enemy is not each other. Mm. We have a common enemy. The foreign, the foreign governments are our own, the common enemy of all of Africa. So let's put our religious, and then our religion, I mean, as much as I respect your, all your religions, I still think that if we lean more towards Africa and what our ancestors believed in, we may find a way to move forward and, you know, shock the, mm. the colonial, uh. Uh, the last, well, we are, we are saddled with colonial mentality. Yeah. Mm. Right. And I think that is why we all fight each other. So I think we should just use this. You know, YK, with this, this, this issue you just raised reminds me of this whole, there was a time where the Sunday Bohos came out and with everybody felt like, ah, this guy, yes, the man of war, you know? And people suddenly people were looking for cultural, um, military, mil militancy, how, do, how, do, how they used to defend the people. Suddenly, our culture was not attractive, tradition. People were now wanting to be, ah, so how, do, how can you take a bullet without, you know? Yeah. People were now interested. Mm -hmm. But the truth is that they, all these things were there. Yeah. We, we abandoned it mm -hmm. and embraced the foreign religion. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's what we have right now. And yes, it, it, regardless of the tradition or the, or the, or the foreign religion, we all still have that, wow. that, that wow. togetherness. We have mm -hmm. to be united. We, 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 we are tolerant of each other. So I'm even happy that we are Christians and, and what's going to be like, and non-Christian, Traditionalist. traditionalists, and we are all here speaking, and we are, we are with love. Yeah. We care for each other. That's, what, that's the whole beauty. We put our religion aside, mm -hmm. and then we focus on how we are united as Nigerians. You know, Mariah, there's something that makes me laugh with Nigerians. On the pages of the papers, Muslims, Christians, South, North, and then you see the South and North <laughs> sitting together and just <laughs> staying around. I'm like, in real life, you guys are okay, but on the pages but of the papers, you are divided, are you know? <laughs> so we need to take our real life and put on the pages of the yeah. newspaper. We need to take our real life and show it. Right. You know, you hear people say, I don't like the North, but you, you, you are different. Right? <laughs> so I'm like, every other, or, you know, so. I, I like what you've just said, Miriam. You know why? Because w when, in the south, we are fighting the northerners. I will never forget my first trip to Kanu. It wasn't really my first trip. I'd been before on tour, but this was first trip. I just went as a human being to Kanu. And you know, I'd been here in, I'd been in Lagos, and I'd been here, ah, all the northern leaders, they are stealing all our money, they are tired, they are taking it to Kanu, they are taking it to Kanu. <laughs> when I got to Kanu, the disappointment that I felt, <laughs> honestly, the poverty yeah. that I saw. Mm. The, my mouth was open throughout the whole trip. He said, huh? I thought he said it because was. Because I was expecting to see skyscrapers, yeah. Kinikon, this, nothing. It's only themselves. Yeah. So this, the, the, our common enemy is the elites, yeah. the people who are stealing our money it's in Nigeria, our easy. common enemy. Yeah. Whether they are from the north, south, mm. east, or west, yeah. they are our common enemy in Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. Let me take this call, YK. Good morning, are you there? Hello. Good Reverend, good happy Salah. Happy Salah. Baraka de Salah to you yes, all. Yes, Baraka de Salah to you. Salah to all our Muslim faithful. Yes. I'm Reverend Kui Ladele from Ibadan. Okay, welcome and to the show, sir. I reach out today to say a wonderful uh, Baraka de Salah. To all our Muslim friends and family. Yes. Uh, so, much as what you are saying there, we Christians and Muslims are not enemies. We are brothers and uh, we should live together in love. We should promote unity. Uh, one of the things that has degenerated in Nigeria is this issue of religious rancor. It is needless. Why do we fight? about a God we have never met, and a God who is love. So today, I want us to think of God's love in is giving Abraham that ram, instead of sacrificing his son and uh, replacing it with a ram for him. Let us walk in that love and build a nation we all can be proud of. Yes. Let us really... 
Oh, thank you very much, thank Reverend Ladele. Yes, I Tokwe. I just say that we all bleed red. And I think that if we, re if we remain that, re reiterate that to ourselves, that when you cut anybody, if anybody gets injured, it's the same red. It's the same red at any point in time. And that should unite us together. And I think that's even the message of cutting and sacrificing the animal, that whatever grievance you might have against one person, when we split, the, when we, because there's a place of blood and all of that, once the blood flows, it is gone. We let it go and we enjoy. So let's not just enjoy. I want to eat today's ram. Let's not just enjoy today's festivity without yeah. being conscious of all the lessons that it carries. And let, when we're discussing Nigeria, let's discuss that. Because I know that whenever we start eating later in the evening, everybody in those meetings will be discussing Nigeria and what is not working. Let us discuss how we can make it work mm. as opposed to what is not working in All right, Nigeria. we have to wrap up. I, I want to also call Nima, but I'm told that they are praying right now. So mm. they, are, they are that holy moment. But <laughs> after that, Ram starts. Oh, goodness. <laughs> We shall eat round today. <laughs> that round is not escaping. <laughs> Let's go on. We're going to come back. We discuss our hot topic of the day. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.